Listen carefully to text A and answer the questions. The Children of Lear Once upon a time there lived in Ireland a chieftain called Lear, who married a girl called Eve. Lear and Eve lived happily at his fort and she, Finaha, and they had four children. Twins Fenula and A and Fikra and Con. But unfortunately Eve fell ill and died, leaving Lear heartbroken and the children motherless. Then, a year after her death, Lear took his children to visit their grandfather, Bob the Red. Once in his castle, Bob suggested that Lear should marry his second daughter, Aoife, and so he did. Back at Chief Inaha, Aoife looked after the children with motherly affection, and the children were very happy again. However, some time later, she became jealous of the love Lear had for his children, and she decided to get rid of them. Early one summer day, Aoife left with the children on a chariot to visit Bob. They stopped by Lake Derevara and to make the children disappear, she used her magic and cast a spell on them. The children of Lear changed into beautiful white swans. The result of this spell was that they had to spend 900 years between Lake Derevara the Sea of Moyle and Inish Glora on the Atlantic Ocean. They would keep their voices and the spell would break upon Christianity arriving to the island. When Bob got to know what Aoife had done to his grandchildren, in a fit of rage he made his daughter Aoife disappear forever. The children spent 300 years in each of the locations. They were happy in the lake because they had a lot of regular visitors, including their own father Lear and grandfather Bob. Soon they left for the icy cold sea of Moyle, where they remained together recalling the happy days living in Chief Inaha with their father. Finally it was time to leave for English Glora, where they spent another 300 years. The three brothers and sisters were never alone because they had the company of other sea and land creatures. Then, one May morning, the four swans heard the ringing of a Christian bell, and the spell was broken. The swans became four weak elderly people. Kamok, a holy man, approached them, knelt down beside them, and baptized them before they died. And when the man stood up again, he saw four beautiful swans flying up to heaven.